Felton Davis with what proved to be the game-winning touchdown on Saturday for Michigan State against Indiana as the Spartans remain perfect in conference play 4-0 heading into a showdown on Saturday in Evanston against Northwestern. Pleased to be joined now from our studio in East Lansing by Felton Davis. And Felton, I mentioned it, unbeaten in the conference four games in, one year after winning just one Big Ten game. What's been the biggest key in your mind to this turnaround? Uh, the biggest key for us was just team chemistry. Uh, last year, we didn't have a lot of that. So this year, we brought that, that mindset from January all the way to now, just team chemistry, everybody being the bond. So Coach D kind of changed up the locker rooms and put uh, all different type of positions and all different type of players together you know, in, one, in one, one place. Yeah, I want to follow up on that a little bit. How does one improve team chemistry? I mean, how do you enjoy being around one another more? And how do you get more of a feeling of unison in a group? You got to be able to be comfortable with everybody, uh, you know, everybody from different places. And, you know, most of the times you don't you don't see like offensive linemen hanging with defensive linemen or wide receivers uh, out hanging with O-line and stuff like that. And since he missed the locker room up, you see different type of camaraderie in there and different type of people hanging with each other. How much did you guys use what happened last year as motivation? The, a lot. That was building the building blocks from January, like as soon as we got back from a uh, from our break, that was the building blocks, the three and nine season all the way to now. Were there specific motivational techniques that you used? Were there sayings, anything like that to kind of remind one another of where you had been? Uh, Coach Manny, he, he instilled the reaffirmation, you know, and, and this was the, the rebuild of Michigan State football. Uh, you know, we had to go back to uh, where the uh, old people brought it to, you know, everybody before that came before us where they brought it to Michigan State too, and we had to reaffirmation and bring, that, bring us back. For you personally, an injury plague season last year was a year where I think a lot of us expected that you might break out, and yet it didn't quite happen. And what was your mentality based on that going into the season? My mentality was I, I was just trying to stay healthy, you know, and, and show the coaches and coaching staff that I, I could play at a high level every every week. You know, uh, that's tough being in this game and, you know, you're taking big hits and, you know, all types of stuff. It's a physical game and it's hard to stay healthy, even though you're going to get banged up. So some, some of the stuff you just got to play through and I've been, that's what I've been trying to show them so far. Well, you have certainly shown it as one of a number of somewhat inexperienced receivers on this team who have really stood out. I mean, you know, you think about Daryl Stewart and Tristan Jackson and then down the stretch this week with Hunter Risen and Cody White coming up with big catches. What does that say about the future of this program? Uh, the future is up. Uh, in the wide receiver room, we have there's tons of tons of talent in there, and, and you can see it. You can see it through these last few games that we had, and everybody coming to step up and, and making plays at any given moment. So, like you can tell, like the future is bright. It's bright, especially in the wide receiver room. Where have you seen the greatest growth in your quarterback, Brian Lewerke? His confidence. You know, that's that, that's what his game really built on. His confidence, and I've seen Brian get more and more confidence in. in in the O-line and, and in the wide receivers, are just throwing the ball somewhere where we can get to it. And, you know, so since that's, since that's the most important thing in this game, I've seen that grow. Hey, Felton, everybody in the Big Ten right now is talking about Ohio State and Penn State and kind of saying it's a battle between those two in the East. And yet there Michigan State is. You guys are undefeated. I don't know what else you can do. Are people overlooking the Spartans? I don't probably consider it overlooking. Uh, that's how we like it. You know, we bring a chip on our shoulder every day. You know, work pill mentality. So uh, we just coming in, just working every week, one week at a time. Well, let's talk about this week. You guys play Northwestern. What do you see when you look at Northwestern's defense on film? They got a good defense. Uh, they not giving up a lot of yards rushing, uh, passing. They holding people to a little, I think it's a little over, a little over 200 or something like that, and it's a, it's a stingy defense too. So I know we have to we have to come ready to work. Well, Felton, I know you will. Best of luck to you in that game in Evanston. Congratulations on a great start to the year, and thanks for spending a few minutes with us here on BTN. All right, thank you.